Hello friends, my name is Real Emil, and welcome back to some more Gran Turismo 3 A-Spec. Today we're continuing on with our Let's Play. This is part 101. This is the one you've been waiting for. This is the one your grandma's been waiting for. This is the one Abraham Lincoln hinting for. This but he's dead. is the final part of this fucking game. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Abraham Lincoln's right behind me watching this. Uh... I mean, is he come on, to storm? come on, <laughs> had to, no. have to. We have to. It's a Gran Turismo game. It's a tradition. Yes, it's not. But give that's it not the, the only oil. thing that we have to do. Just give it everything. Go balls to the wall. Yeah, but it's undrivable. Do I really want to put him in? I mean, it makes it undrivable. It's super it's speedway. The last you don't episode. Fine, Dude, fuck it's super it. fucking speedway. <laughs> yes, that's what we're doing today, by the way. I've kind of forgot to mention that. Uh, we're doing the Super Speedway Endurance. It's so, the last thing left. It is the last thing left. On this one? There is a reason it's the last thing left. Can you put custom wheels on this one? Because it's the last thing you left. You can, I'm not going to. Oh. I did oh, want- oh. I was very tempted to put the free spokes on, but I decided not to. Anyways, 1,881 horsepower. Yeah. This game. Oh. How they have enough horsepower? <laughs> so we win. Anyways, automatic you Super this. Speedway 150 mile challenge. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's get it. Uh, bad Let's news for bad news. For, bad news for people who uh, really wanted to sit through another four hour long HD podcast where they talk about their other people that they associate themselves with. Uh, yeah, this isn't that. Um, <laughs> Sorry, this isn't an HD talk about dick sizes. HD talk. Remember that. Anyways, why? No, this is just us talking about random shit that comes up when we um, downfall set to yes. Uh, if I remember rightly, when you put the turbos in this, it becomes absolutely uncontrollable. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Which is why I'm going to do a thing which is kind of sacrilege, but oh wow, I can put it to as little as ten percent. Uh. Do you really want to do that? Twenty percent. That's still like 500 horsepower to the front wheels, but oh well. Anyways, here we go. As you can see, the competition is uh, pitiful. He's gone. Bloody gone. When you pass everyone before the race starts. Yes. The wrong dead. Anyways, of course, as I said, there is no better way to end this game with than with the mighty Suzuki Escudo. The greatest car in Gran Turismo history, in my personal opinion. I don't think anyone would really disagree here with that. As an outsider of Gran Turismo, yeah. Look at it! Um, it's the Suzuki I do, Escudo! I do like the symbolism or whatever shit you called a meal. You start, you finish on the same track, you started your first Oh yeah, I forgot about that! <laughs> Symbolism. Oh yeah, no wait, no, that was a completely intentional, Azza. You are correct, yeah. Uh, really wanted to <laughs> set the tone there. Emil yeah. is the smartest guy. He knows how to do the symbolism. Almost we like... get to look back at the let's play. Think. Do you know what? That reminds me of the one thing I was supposed to. I'll do that in the interim because yeah. Uh, what? I I was gonna look back, and I'm going to do it. I, I was going to go into the Gran Turismo 3 Let's Play folder and see when the first episode of this was actually edited. I know the first episode of this was uploaded to YouTube on the 1st of December 2017. Um, Wait, 1st of December 2017? I don't think December 2016. 2016. Fine, fuck it. Listen, I've done 101 <laughs> episodes, okay? My brain is slightly frazzled. The S2000 is also very frazzled, apparently. Rip. I'll see Snoop Dogg's driving it, that's the problem. It probably well, is. Well, see, he, he, he's, he's going slow to try and enjoy the chicken and beer that he's consuming while going down the road. Yeah. But, I mean, <laughs> seriously, how could I... Here's the thing. How could I not end with the greatest car in Gran Turismo history? The mighty Suzuki Escudo. As someone who is, admittedly, the world's biggest Gran Turismo 2 fanboy in the world... This car, I don't care how nerfed it was in this game. And admittedly, you know, despite having the meme turbos, it was a little bit nerfed. Uh, they made it handle more understeery. 
And Gran Turismo 4 continued on that trend. Unfortunately, GT5 and GT6, I this car wasn't... It was a bit of a shadow of its former self, but... Even still, do you know what I did in GT6? What? I used this to beat LMP cars, still. <laughs> do you know why? <laughs> It because you could. Because it's the motherfucking Escudo. And it is. And you're doing you're doing it, nearly 400k an hour, if that was to be believed. Yeah, it's uh, 400k an hour is like, what, 200? Uh, that's miles? 243 miles an hour. That's the McLaren F1's acclaimed top speed. And, ooh, see, Teresa. Yeah. you got to admit it, this big red bastard is enduring. He yes, is yes, the is. poster boy of the GT series. Fuck your castle suit, but fuck the skyline. <laughs> <laughs> it's the poster boy. Fuck Let the Corvette Stingray, which apparently was also the cover car at some point. And actually that yeah, GTR. GT. Yeah, the GTR was a big thing in GT5 as well, wasn't it? Didn't the Grand Sport come up a lot when... GT. Oh yeah, the uh, the blue Corvette Grand Sport. Kind of a well-known-ish car, I guess. I don't... I wouldn't say it's anywhere near the cover car, but it is a car a lot of people associate with Gran Turismo. Yeah. I'm sorry, the way they make GT Sport sell millions is just slapping the Scudo on the front cover. I've got you sorted, Polyphony. Actually, genuine question. Yeah? Try and think through, what cars do you associate with Gran Turismo more than anything? I mean, the Suzuki Scudo, obviously. Uh, Corvette Grand Sport, oh, R34 Skyline... Um, Jaguar XJR15. 22B. Yeah, I can see that. The 22B. The, the, yeah. the, the, the first rendition of the Tommy Kyra ZZ2. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. I think any Tommy that, Kyra is kind of. Yeah. Like, Ford Forza had GT. Tommy Kyras for a bit, but. Yeah, yeah but GT that, 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 Z, that ZZ2 is oddly pervasive and sexual in yeah. ways that excite the pants. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone else is pitting. I'm not because I put super softs on this. Oh, but, yeah. I know, I know, I know soft, another one. Hard. Yes? The, uh, the Pulsar GTIR, the 91. Oh, do you really? That, mm, really? oh, hell yeah, dude. I really fucking want one of those because of Gran Turismo 2, just because I know how stupidly right. overpowered it would be. I've got Good one play. for you. And, yeah? Cars I associate with Gran Turismo, if we're going down that route. FCRX7. Hey! Third generation Toyota Supra. <laughs> the ST185 Celica, interestingly enough. Ooh, my mind has has one of those. I'll explain that one. Uh, I remember one time I got invited down to someone else's house, and basically, because I was a Gran Turismo 2 nut, I just locked myself in the room with Gran Turismo 2 and placed it with with the PS2. And uh, obviously, you couldn't bring your data over on a PS2, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I had to buy like. I had to advance through the first races all over again, so I bought a silver Celica GTR, which I believe is the front-wheel drive one, isn't it? GTS. Yeah. That's the front-wheel drive. No, the, 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 like, the 91. I think it was called the GTR or something. But yeah, that was a, a cool car. So yeah, pretty much mm -hmm. most of the, like, very, very early 90s Japanese cars. GTO. 3000 GT. Yeah, I mean, the the Super Duper Mega Speed GTO from uh, Gran Turismo 1. That thing had like 930 yeah. horsepower, I think. Yeah, it's got I like how I'm just like drifting <laughs> around these corners in I'm, this thing. I'm, yeah. I'm going to be honest, I'm going to go for a dark horse in the sort of iconic cars. The Demio. Oh, yes. The shittest car. The blue Demio. The Most specifically car. for me personally, the blue Demio from Mazda. Uh, from Mazda. From Gran Turismo 4's first license test. I want one of those. And Wait, where are we getting one? The they midget. Do. Oh, yeah, the midget. Yeah, the midget's a Gran Turismo car. Yeah. Uh, also a list of form. Alright, here's one for you. Suzuki Alto. Like the 90s. Oh, yeah, the Alto oh, yeah, Suzuki the Sport Geekers. Limited. Like the white I one with the blue stripes. Hey, Emil, I I'm going to hijack like your list thing. slightly, but I think we can both agree that this car is so holistically Gran Turismo, it deserves to be mentioned. Go on. The Daihatsu Midget, too. Yep, the Duracea said that <laughs> one as well. But yeah, that, I completely agree. Um, uh, the list of Storm. Storm, I get... The problem with this... Okay, here's one for you, speaking about that. Team Eureka Viper. The 91. Uh, or yeah. 51 in this... Is it the 51 for you and the 91 for us, if I remember rightly? Uh, 
I, I think we got the option of both. Because one's got Chrysler on it and one's got Dodge on it. I think we got the Chrysler 51 one. Yeah, I think they yeah. gave us the option of both in the end, but like in this game, and I think it was... Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not yeah, 100% on that's, that one. That's, that's there might have been a difference between the EU and... Yeah. Ah, guess what? What? I associate the SO Ultra Flow Super from Gran Turismo 4. Oh, wait! Ha <laughs> ha! I Do you know that is going to be? I hope you're that. ready for that because that is going to be the entire meme of the GT4 Let's Play. It's just like, look at the SO Super Flow. <laughs> I'm going to eat. The, uh, the game. President. Hey, Emil, if you do that, do I have permission to point my car hot collection in the direction of your face and then just be like, look, Emil, look, it's a bunch of dragon dicks? Oh, God, please but, don't. But, Emil, but Emil <laughs> yeah? if getting the best car from GT4, Go on. post the boy. The high end I click type R. Oh yeah, I forgot that Ford G. I actually associate the Ford GT quite well as well because they have the concept yeah, car. Uh, Funder, we're in a conversation you quite like actually. <laughs> What's up? Cars that like you GT associate car. with Gran Turismo that are so ruthlessly Gran Turismo, it's unreal. I think we've had the well, Corvette the Grand Sport, the Midget. Uh, we've had all sorts. We've had nice Pulsars, Supra. Supras, yeah. RX-7s. Like, I, I, Why are I, they I'm all smashing into that the, wall there? The Subaru, Subaru 360. Oh yeah, Subaru Subaru 360. Uh, no the Subaru map. SVX. Mm. That's that's definitely a car that can only really exist in Gran Turismo because they're colossal pieces of shit in the real world. Other than the fact it's in Falls or his pole now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh! Well, uh, uh, for the longest time until Forza had it, the R33 GTR LM. Oh uh, yes. Road oh, car. yeah. Yes. Ah, All right. There's one for you. It's yeah. a bit an obvious one. It's got to be the Pennzoil Skyline, right? The '99, the full yellow. Yeah. Yellow and black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. And actually, I've come to think one. of it, the Calsonics. All yeah. of them. Yeah. I've got one. Go on. Starts with a T and ends in VR Speed 12. <laughs> <laughs> Speed 12. <laughs> All right. Here's one. Here's fucking one. The Daimler Motor Carriage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The 1886. <laughs> because uh, I was, a, that I was more a fan of the patent motor wagon myself, mate. It might be the motor wagon. I get the two confused because like one's like a. They're the same thing. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um. Uh, I was thinking Nomad Diablo. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The uh, GC3 Diablo. Uh. I kind of like to associate the NSX kind of with Gran Turismo. Mm. Just all of them in general. The NSX is yeah. quite a Gran Turismo. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You know what I car get... I associate with Gran Turismo? What? what? The Miata. Miata. Yeah, this game really likes mm. its Miatas. I mean, this was the. I mean, this game really, really likes its Miatas because it made an endurance race out of them, which Polyphony were like, that's <laughs> such a good idea. We're going to keep that for the next three games. I think GT6 doesn't have it and that's like it. Oh, I don't know. And even they have made a one make race out of the fucking things, because of course they did. <laughs> I like how I am literally just drifting this thing around here now. <laughs> it's great. I finally get to do what I usually did with endurance games on or endurance races got, on this game. I got a question. Go on. Your favourite console startup. What like the noise and Stuff. PS1. Yeah, PS1. Visuals. It's gotta be. Hey, it's Emil. I've got some news for you. Go on. You're almost a quarter of the way through this race. Hey, I'm gonna go pit. <laughs> actually, I gotta okay. be different. I gotta say my favorite is actually the Dream Pass. <laughs> oh, God. I like the Dream Pass, but I'm gonna be honest. Hang on, actually, one second. Oh, I like the GameCube for the memes. I was just about <laughs> to say that. Emil, do you like the GameCube? Yeah. Splat. Man gets oh. smashed by a fucking sign. That was fucking amazing. <laughs> the guy gets taken clean off his bike. It's beautiful. <laughs> no, nah, man, just Lamar. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. That should be the way they start with any console up. <laughs> just with Lamar. Yeah, the, I mean, Our I kind of like the original one. Xbox. All I can't think of any console that really has a bad start up. I mean, the Xbox One just sort of has a blank screen. I think I haven't seen it do any more than that. 
It, it, it has this logo, and then it does a thing, and then That's it's just... Uh, oh, the PS3 has quite a boring one as well. The start of the Xbox One, like that, because it's always on kind of thing, so it's like as soon as you turn the thing on, it's just home screen. Oh, is, have you got yours in that mode? Yeah, I kind of just kept it there, because I got bored. Alright, here's the thing with me, right? I remember my Xbox One, because the first day I bought it... There you go. I remember the first day I bought it, right? Turned it on and everything, set it up, I was just like, oh, I'll have it on the uh, quick start, right? I was in bed. And it I just... came on by itself, right? No, no, it didn't come on by itself, I just heard it sort of buzzing away in standby, just going... Yeah, it fucking what does. What was it, PS3? No, the Xbox of... One, it has like a... It's oh. got basically a mode where you can either instantly turn it on, or like a power save mode, which basically turns it off. And it, it basically, when if you put it in the always sort of like ready to go mode, it just makes a faint little zzzz. And I was just like, I can't live with this. And I just like unplugged the fuck out of it. And then no, I no, plugged it back in and I was just like, right, power it, saver. Like, yeah, my Xbox will legitimately just turn on in the middle of the night. And I'm just like, okay then. Well, I have another issue as well. Yeah. Yes. I have an external hard drive that doesn't die until the Xbox is off, and half the time it'll run even after it's turned itself off, so... Good God. Uh, I actually... Yeah, that's why I, uh, I leave my X phone and my TV unplugged, just so I don't have to hear the fucking noise. I mean, I will say that. Oh, fast start up, bro. I will the plug is, like, a foot away, and for, like, the three days that I use the thing in a week, at most, it's like, I, I can fucking do it. it it's not that... It's just, oh. I will say one thing, though. The fucking original Xbox startup, like, creeped me out as a kid. Oh, yeah. I think it was slight, just the intro, slight, slight, just hoping to God that when it's like, we're sorry, but this disc is dirty or damaged. Please insert again. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you're an oh. Xbox guy, right? Okay. Yeah. You have never experienced the sheer terror oh, of God, the yeah. red screen of the PS2. I would have. I had nightmares about that one. Yeah, I think we all did. I did it mostly when my action replay didn't work because it's like, god damn it. I had a it similar was thing with the red scary. of death with the Xbox. I imagine you just got the red skin of death and instead of the regular thing you just heard this. <laughs> Guys, I think my Xbox has autism. <laughs> oh, <fuck it. laughs> So, uh, Actually, didn't you say you was working on like a GameCube thing anyway, from the... I haven't actually started it yet. But yeah, me and Azza were just saying, that thing where that guy falls off his bike is still one of the funniest things. <laughs> it is. Splat from the sign, it's great. Man, like, I'm super, like, yeah, that fucking red screen death, I remember getting it. Uh, I didn't actually get it that often when I was young. Yeah, me me, that's what except, made it worse. Except for like a period of time. In like 2007, when my co my PS2 just needed to be cleaned, I've still never cleaned oh, yeah. a console in my entire life. Oh yeah, oh, what God, I've had to clean mine repeatedly. Yeah, I had crackers. No, it was just it was it, it, it was just that it needed like it was it was just a bit dusty, so we just clean we just got like a thing of air and just clean up the dust. But yeah, in that period of 07, it would get it would red screen a few times. I remember, and it was annoying. I wasn't so afraid of it. I was just annoyed. I was like, "God damn it!" Yeah, that was pretty much me with the original I... Xbox. God damn it! I want to get under twenty-three second, twenty-four second. I mean, why don't you actually try driving well then, scrub? <laughs> G Racer, he's going to punt you into. Oh, no, no, yeah, the way he's to get punt you into the new fucking millennium. The when way, seriously, the way to set the best lap time on super speedway is to bounce off the walls. What good yeah. super speedway? Welcome to realistic physics. The real driving simulator. Except all those other driving like, simulators, but shut the fuck up, we invented it first. Mm, there <laughs> wasn't any back then, really. Wait, I thought test drive invented it first. <laughs> test drive is. Did you see test drive? Fun, fucking Thunder's test drive 6 let's play. That game is not a simulator. Yeah. I mean, the original. Here test in drive. my car! I mean, the original test drive, man. Thunder. 
What's up? Is it normal to feel very uncomfortable when you look at the fucking Plymouth Prowlers model from uh, Test Drive 6? <laughs> yes. It is very, very normal. I'm gonna have a look. Uh, oh, don't! God. <laughs> Trust me, dude, it's the stuff that nightmares are made out of. <laughs> well, let's have a look. I think I actually had Test Drive 6 on the Dreamcast. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Not Test normal. Drive 6 Plymouth Prowler model. Oh, that's Wait a second. Normal. Where is it? Is it recording? No, he's looking um, on the internet. Uh. The man driving it looks horrified. I'll post it in the recording. <laughs> uh, Have okay. a look at the abject horror of this! <laughs> 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 it looks very dis- Can I just point out that model was made in like 1998? It was made. I, I, I'm just here to say, that's I have been higher that's quality models oh, with less polygon and no texture. I honestly don't understand why Test Drive 6's models are so bad. Be because I have a sneaking suspicion that their game budget was strapped between two different games. The first one being Demolition But Race, they're both the same the game one... pretty much, just one has well, less that's death. That's my fucking point! It, it's it was like... a bad game. What, they were racer. Try Accolade was trying to make Test Drive, but they realized that they have no fucking money because, oh, these games aren't doing too well. Oh, oh Test God. What's with the Toyota GT? Test Drive 5 sold like a million copies on PS1, though. Because it's, it's a greatest hits title. Uh, yeah, we've got one oh issue. Oh, God. You, you see, you look at all that, and you look at Test Drive 6, and you hear it, it wasn't very good. I have a slight confession to make. What? I do secretly want to find a copy of Test Drive 6. The problem is, it's extremely rare over here. Why did wow, the really? I, I, I have, like, two of them. Yeah, they want you to pay, like, 15 quid. Oh, mm. yeah, fuck I that. Have, I have an interesting question. Why is the Voxel Kaliber, a traffic car, modeled better than the fucking GT1? <laughs> well, I mean, it's the same yeah. in Europe, racer. To be honest with you, so you can't really say much. I'm being deadly fucking serious. This looks like actually competent. Got a bit of a chop top, but is it an M25? Mm. Da -da 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 that's that's something kids nowadays won't know. Having traffic cars that are this stupidly is the low car poly. that kids like. Yeah, low polygon traffic cars are just something that we will never experience ever yeah. again. Monster uh, sport, baby. Shame. Actually, no way. Did that fucking four, that fucking prowler was posted. Yeah. But bro, yeah. the oh, Dodge God. Copperhead. Oh God. Oh, God. Oh. The driver looks like he's having an even bigger sad than the car is. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at the post post that 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 going? What is that? Oh God, the Copperhead. <laughs> The guy driving! <laughs> Look at that interior view. Oh. Do you know what I hate most about that? What? what? The fact that the actual model, like, the polygons and stuff, there's quite a lot in there. Like, it. it how do you model it that badly? Oh so my god. Wow. Hey, Thunder. Yeah. You remember when we figured out how to mod Test Drive 5? Five? 5, yeah. What do you bet if we got a PC copy of Test Drive 6, we could probably make the textures for that car look halfway decent? I, Yay! I I tried to get it working before, but couldn't. So if you know, if you uh, can figure out a way, totally tell me, because I will. I will uh, totally. You know, you want to see Test Drive 6, baby. Well, here's the, well, here's the thing. I was originally trying to LP it on. I was originally going to try to LP it on uh, the uh, PC, but I couldn't get it working. Now you want to talk about uh, game? Okay, Test Drive 6 has bad models, but Test oh Drive Lamar. Oh my god. Test Drive Lamar has models that are like so uh, slightly different that it actually fucks with your mind when you think about the real car and then look at the models in Test Drive 6. Yeah, it's but, just... yeah but you're forgetting something. Test Drive Lamar is redeemed. Yeah, because Test Drive Lamar no, no. is good. No, no, it's redeemed by only one thing. What? Tiff motherfucking Nadal. A little oh, bit boy. of argy bargy! <laughs> oh, well, you're talking about the PS1 version. Yep. PS1 version's the best oh, yeah, one because PS1. it's got a little bit of argy bargy. Also, <laughs> PS1 version does have the Celine Mustang GT2. I guess that's a plus. 
I thought that would be like, literally like, oh hey, this is the difference between a bad game and a good game for you. Well, I mean, nah, because I still think the Dreamcast version is just better. What game? Test Drive Ma. Oh. Porsche Boxster. Wind Why turbines. Is that a wind turbines. Suzuki Monster Motorsport. <clears throat> Suzuki. Su Do you know what Forza 6 really does need? The SX4 hill climb car back? Or, hell, bring the Escudo in. Please. Look at the Escudo. It's I'm brilliant. <laughs> I mean, if they're ever gonna make, I think the fucking Peugeot look like a Pike's Peak uh, car, they might as well just throw the Scudo in. Yeah, well, the two o. They, I'd like to see the two o eight T sixteen because that's a cool car. Hmm. Oh, the two o eight T sixteen. That's the rally car. Yeah. No, that's the Pike's oh, Peak car. Oh yeah, I'm thinking of something else. Big Who just likes to put two T sixteen after anything that has is rally related nowadays? Well, as long as they put out after the good rally cars, and as long as they don't have like the Peugeot one hundred eight T sixteen, we're okay. Uh, about that. Th are you being serious? I think there may be one. No, okay, there is. Oh, no one's made a no one's made a one hundred eight rally car, but the two hundred eight T sixteen is both the rally cross car. And the Pikes Peak car. I'm assuming they have slightly different designations or something. Yeah, they probably have like slightly different internal designations, but they're both just called the two two six P fifteen because of course, yes. We built this but, rally car once and it was alright, remember that. Yeah, uh, it was really good. And then the the, the racing kinda killed too many people, so shut down. And we're not gonna let you forget about that. Lancia built a better car. The best the men were men and people died and it was dangerous. Nice. Wow, that R34 is... It's dubious. Far worse. That's far worse looking than the PS1 version. Yeah, it's bad. Oh like said, my if you can God. find a way to get... If I can find a way to get it working on my Windows 10 PC, <laughs> I totally will... Let you know. Uh, okay, excellent. Uh, I swear to God that R34 model was actually supposed to be a fucking Advantage V600. Let me look at this. Just, nah, 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 it's an R34. Oh my God! <laughs> Why are the <laughs> lights so tiny? I don't know. <laughs> it seriously looks like they took Advantage V600 and was like, nah, Here's this is actually not mine now. Here's the thing. The worst part of that is on that car actually looks better on the. Uh, on the uh, PS1 version, and I'll explain. Well, like better is in like significantly better, or better is in like it still hurts your eyeballs to look at it. Hang on, I don't have the game up like on emulator at the moment, so I just grabbed it from a video. But well, you just go to IGCD and just be like. So that's, you see how that's the back of the PC version? This is the same car in the PS1 version once it loads. Oh, that isn't as bad. Yeah. It still I'm looks sure. like it's horribly stretched, but... It is. Oh my gosh, the V12 LMR looks very bad. Yeah, the V12 LMR is a big sad, and I believe that... Isn't that your prize for, like, beating the entire game? Actually, yeah, Jurassic. Do you want to know the worst bit? What? I think that would have been one of the very first games to have a well, Mon winning V12 LMR in it, and it looks <laughs> that bad. Because <laughs> oh, Gran Turismo was just like, oh, the GC1 race car's probably gonna win. Oh wait, Jaguar XK180. That was a thing, and I couldn't tell what it was because, yeah. Do you know the worst bit is with the XK180? Yeah. What? That's a car name I haven't heard come up for years, like literally like over a decade, yet over the past like three days I've heard that car name twice now. Because it was in the Gran Turismo 2 beta video as well, because apparently it's supposed to be in that game at some point. 
Also, the killer one looks at the I noticed here. something. Go on. What, what look at you how know? sad it looks. <laughs> that God is dead. dead. Kill we them. killed him. I will say, the fucking cooler just looks like it's a Hot Wheels car. Oh, Jesus. What is that brown thing? That's the Jaguar X-K-180. Oh, 180. no. Very unhappy. That do you is think they actually made the traffic? Do you think they actually made the traffic cars first and then ran out of budget? Probably. Actually, I, I, no, no, do you think I'm what gonna... it actually was is the car was supposed to, it was supposed to be like one of them driving school simulators and it was like, no, you actually have to simulate race cars. Oh, shit. What did that? That's the KRM 7. Yeah. That's the CAC. Oh, wait. Okay, not all the traffic cars are well modeled. That car had like an SVT Lightning as well, didn't it? Oh. <laughs> didn't that game have like an F-150 in it? That was like pretty good. It does have an F-150 Lightning. Let me see if I can see what the model looks like. If I remember rightly, it's not as sad as most, but it's still pretty sad. Oh wait, it has a Panino Desperante. It has the Panini Desperini. Oh god damn it! I just want to set under a 24 second lap time. How hard is it? Very. Get good. I think this is perfectly summing up Grand Turismo 3 in a nutshell, to be honest with you. Wait. There's a box body? No, baby. What the fuck is this box body? How hard is it to model a fox body? It's a box. And apparently it's very fucking hard. Let me have a look at this shit. That's not nice. Oh <laughs> no! Get that away that from is me. The back end of it isn't too bad, but like that front end is very squished. Well, the back end's pretty bad too, because it doesn't look like a fox body at all. Well, it looks like a car, which I guess is an improvement. At least yeah, the Lotus looks shit, like it's like something you. straight from Mars. Hmm. <laughs> He's <laughs> way too happy. Look at it. <laughs> The Lotus Elise is on bathtub. Alright, here's the Lightning. The Lightning's a model. No, being honest, the Lightning might have one of the best models in the game. Oh? It looks like a Lightning. It looks like the thing it's supposed to be. Wow. Why am I happy about that? Oh shit, I just looked at the Elise GT1. Oh no. Wait, is that less happy? Oh, uh, no. That's less happy. Remember when that car was relevant? <laughs> no. Remember when that car blew up? Yeah. Hey, Emil. Hmm? You're more than halfway there. I know, Whoa. I'm living on a prayer. Whoa. Living on a scudo. Holy shit, what is this Mercedes SLK? No, I don't think it's the future, Will. Uh. 67 out of 100. Oh. Joel, you know worst bit is, and this is gonna sound really corny. What? what? I quite ha like how this race is 100 laps and we're on episode 101. It's like we're racing through every single episode almost. No, fuck off. You spiritual hippie bastard. Mate. Your fucking mum was a hippie, that's why I shagged the shit out of him. <laughs> He's a spiritual guy, that's why he hates the most spiritual racing game. Listen, Mate, Emil. What? Emil, what? listen, my mum's dead. Mate, she was said she was into shag carpeting. I didn't understand what she <laughs> meant by shag. Oh my gosh, fucking 68 Mustang looks confused. So I just did both and hoped that one of them was okay. Turns it out he wasn't, she said she'd just rather have the carpet, but... That's a TVR grip, that's the TVR grip, That's not a TVR I'm grip. I'm not looking that's... at the TVR. It's the Z. <laughs> oh my fucking god! It's oh like god. something you don't want to see when you wake up. It looks less like a R390, more like one of the cars from the game. Anyways, not to make no, you all laugh, but uh, lap 69 ended in a 666. <laughs> and it actually says 420 <laughs> backwards as well. Come to me. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, nice. The ultimate fucking we, We've nailed it for this Let's Play. 
Yeah. Wait, that's yep. not funny backwards. There's there. nothing else that we need to accomplish. We can all go home now. I never got. What the all fuck right. is so, Racing yeah. Lagoon? No. I'll actually be right back though. Racing Lagoon's like an RPG, I think. It's a racing RPG that lets you do very stupid shit. Well, to ask your cars. LLC about that one. He knows about that. What? Oh god, the uh, Marcus Racing Man Lagoon. Hero. Oh god. Why? Brings back memories of Nam. I'm not gonna get into the fucking sudden obsessive fanboy about it, don't worry. Never gonna, gonna, gonna get it, never gonna get it. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. No, no. The look very sad. Very sad. Gone down to the Krusty Krab, Krusty bitch. Krab, yeah. Wouldn't be an episode of GT3 without referencing that song at least 15 times. <laughs> yeah. It's going away soon, that's a shame. I know. I love the soundtrack of this game. I think it's it I think it's this game's best part. Yeah, because obviously the best song in the soundtrack is Snoop Dogg's Grand Turismo Rap. Oh god, I'm going backwards. No, I could listen to fucking just today. Like Emil, do whenever you care? it makes you feel good. What? I kind of care about really? going backwards because it's sort of less momentum. <laughs> and it's also messed with the front steering of this car because it has literally none now. Oh my god, yeah. I just looked at the fucking Vantage. Oh. The front end's not that bad. Well, for this game at least. Then you get to the rear end. That's Compton. That's not. <laughs> Fucking. Hey, almost had it. Gone down to the crusty crap. Also, the DB7 has very sad headlights. They're just squares. Get to the pit lane. Power. Stop turning right. <laughs> yeah, wow. Turn right. Man, you're going the wrong way. I don't oh god, the Vantage. Is that a Vanquish? <laughs> oh god, oh No, god. it's the Vantage in the DB7. What the fuck was that? What? That's the Marcus Mantera. What is that? Why is the window like a million miles away from the door? <laughs> I don't fucking what know. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> That wasn't Louise. That's the smuggest the looking cunt I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and you've seen your own cunt. I haven't seen my own cunt, no, Jurassic, because I don't have a cunt. You do just sure look in the fucking mirror. I'm gonna stab it's like your the, the fucking S3 has like the best model out of the whole entire game. That's comp. Oh yeah, because it's hard to model the Lotus Esprit. Well, apparently well, they still mean, managed. Well, it's so hard to model the fox body, and you see what they did to it. Well, I mean, it, to be fair, they managed to fuck the Elise, the Esprit up as well. Because look at the wheels. They're just yeah, rims. Like like, it's on rims. I like, I like how I come back to you, basically lo looking phones. at every test drive six creation, thinking, "What is that?" <laughs> oh, what about? I don't, I don't know what the. Oh, by the way. Guess what just happened? I know. Over the next of the race to go. Did. Yay! No, but do you know what else happened? What? what? Final pit stop. Yeah. Pit stop. This is it. Pit stop of this game. The final unanimated pit stop of the joint. Emil is gonna. Uh, Emil's getting nuts so hard. I got nuts so hard, motherfuckers won't find me. Toy oh my God. What is. What is this C3 Corvette? It's, it's like a weird mix between a C4 and a C3 Corvette. And it, it, it angers me and scares me. Just think, Thunder, at least this has gone better than the last part of Gran Turismo 2. Huh? At least this has gone better than the last part of Gran Turismo 2. Think of that, probably. I don't know what the last part of GT2 uh, for was. For your like. last part of GT2, I think it was Torrent speaking about Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders. Oh no. Remember when that was a thing? <sighs> no. <sighs> Let's talk about happier things, like the fact that we're nearly done with this goddamn game. We just yeah, got, fuck like, this game. 20 laps. And let's make more fun of GT. Fuck oh, this game. Let's try like, game. Car models. Fuck this game. It's a good game. 
It is a good, good game. game, but fuck this game. It is a good, it's game, a good game, but if you're going to play it yourself, I do highly recommend not going past the Amateur League. This is a game play the rally events, me. play the endurance races if you want, just don't enter Professional League and you will have fun with the game. This, this game has ruined don't my worry, I'm still, Don't worry, I'm going to do everything. Okay. I've already yeah. said this in the last episode, you're supposed to do everything, you're a Let's Player! I know. We're supposed to make that, ourselves suffer, that's our job! <laughs> oh god, I, I didn't have... sign up for this. Before this ends, I have one more car model. Oh. Oh. Wow, this is still. F <laughs> oh my god, alright, as is laughing, so what is it? Oh, that's oh no, that's wide. <laughs> that is a thick bitch. Hey, Emil. Hey. Hmm? I I've got something from the test drive thing that you should, you should have a look at. There is no When problem. you get bored and decide to pop over. Is it in? Ah. Yeah, I just I just posted it. <laughs> I think you're correct, Dragua. I think you're correct. There is no god. Uh, oh, oh no. Q Q Q Q saying I already knew that. Jesus Christ, these abominations. I like thing. See, I Azzy, you do <laughs> secretly want to play the game now, don't you? Just to see what no. the abomination is. Let me look at Test car models. Oh. Oh. See, for some reason I had the feeling they would be better. I was wrong. Oh, God. Ah, <laughs> uh, the fucking mm. Viper. I was so very wrong. Still the let's play I regret being around for the most. What, this? Test Drive 6, yeah. Why do you regret it? Because I wasn't around for it. Oh, that you weren't there. I thought because you, you told there. me it was Demolition Racer without the crashing. I was like, oh no, it won't be. And then it turns out, yeah, it literally is. The same game. Yep. Okay. Does it have the Pitbull Speedway in it? I can't remember. Oh my! <laughs> this abomination! Died. Oh god! That's not nice. Don't die yet. There's only 14 laps left. I can't live knowing that this thing exists. I can't live knowing that this is gonna fucking. I'm gonna have to edit all of this. There's a uh, fucking Fear Factory Nissan Pathfinder. Oh Jesus! I'm guessing that's the most metal game. car in the world. That is Nissan Pathfinder. And, and it's unlockable. I think Ozzy Osbourne owned one. It's that metal. Wow. Also, this fucking mini. God fucking damn it! Can I please just get a 23 second lap time? Okay, so where are they determined from this? Test Drive 5 also doesn't have good car models. Shit, the fucking Vantage somehow. I'm not sure if the Vantage looks better or worse in, G in Test Drive 5. Like, it's wor it's bad, but it's bad in a completely different way. <laughs> like, that fucking front bumper is just... Weird. It's no... Uh, uh. Uh. Also, the fucking Viper GTSR looks even angrier than the Viper. Ten laps game. to go. Yes. Freaking words have never been said. That might have helped me get my 23 second lap time there. That Viper looks pissed. Off. I bounced oh. off a of skyline. Try to think of another game that has bad car models now. GTA mm -hmm. 5? Huh? <laughs> I know GTA 3 has some very, very wonky looking cars. Like, the Bobcat has two different headlights. I... Well, no, because that's kind of... 
like how Chevy trucks used to li look like too. No, but like it literally has like one side has a straight light, one side has a curled light. I'm s I still. I need to remember. Holler back. I, I can't do what. Oh, Need for Speed. Some of the old Need for Speed models aren't very really nice. Oh, R could do the fucking Dukes of Hazard game. What? For <laughs> Wanna see the General Lee in the the 2000 Dukes of Hazard? Dude, the Dukes of Hazard 2. Daisy Dukes is out. Oh, no. I didn't want wheel spin, but apparently I'm going to get one. <coughs> oh well. And I don't wanna talk about it anymore. anymore. I think we're gonna make it. <laughs> it's a good song to end with. Yeah. I think we're gonna make it. I don't know. Anymore. 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 I Start, think we're to sound gonna like make it. I think yeah, we're I gonna save it, yeah. Save it, yeah. And I just yeah, sticking <laughs> my dick in a Cheerio. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. HG it's Central after quite, dark. It's quite painful, but I got it done. <laughs> I'm gonna mm, pierce but... my scrotum with a ruffle sack. And then I and people then, gum. Now people ask me how I got it off. Tweezers. I just it's a Cheerio, my after all. Got a question. Yes. Would you rather stick a hula hoop around your genitals and try and shake it around and try and get it to do a full <laughs> one minute on there? <coughs> or would you rather stick your dick in a pint of cold milk? Pint of cold milk. Like ice cold milk. Ice cold! Ice cold! Leave it in there for a minute. Yeah. I don't know why I'm saying this so close to the end, because people will be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I love people who skip to the end. We know no, you exist. Yes, I fucked with you in the Formula GT episode. I'm almost sorry. No, you're not. Yeah, you're right, I'm not. Do you know why I'm not I sorry? Why? Why? Because there's only three laps to go in a second. Lap 98. Is ready. <laughs> about this game. I haven't forgotten about this game. game. What? It was a mobile game called Cars and Guns. And like the gimmick was all the cars were like looked like they were made out of cardboard. Oh, I thought you was going to say it's 187 Ride or Die but Mobile. I should let's play that at some point. That game is stupid. 99 yeah. laps. And a bitch ain't won. Yes. Do the last lap in reverse. <laughs> Toyota. Michalin. 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 Do the last lap in reverse. Fuck that. Oh. No, no, just go backwards for, um. Lap 100! Oh, oh, baby. Jesus, not that. Please, not that. Please, no. Oh, God, Stop. Stop. Question. No. Stop. No. Question. No. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Okay. Done. Done. Oh! Yes! <laughs> don't be done. <laughs> it's not done yet. There's still one Fate more thing off. I forgot about. No. Uh, 200 grand. <laughs> Nice. A oh, scudo. Let's see what I we want get. The, I want the 4-4. Watch, Watch me get a fucking F1 car again. Watch me get a fucking F1 car again. Yeah. No, no, it's gonna be the drift. Oh, for oh, fuck's sake. Yeah. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, for 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 fuck's sake. Oh,
Oh, of course. Hey, it's the green and yellow one. Hey, it's the one that I wanted, at least. <laughs> Where were you a minute ago? Bit yeah. late. Anyways. Oh, oh baby, hey. this one's slightly different. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, and? tell me. There we go. Hey. We got five of these you in the last two this. events. I do oh god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yes. 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 Woo! <laughs> oh hey, it's different in this version. <laughs> Why does the game think you need so many Formula GT? Three God's sake, Formula One cars from the last two events. You realize? Anyways, let's go take a quick look at them. Uh, uh, How many have we got? I'm genuinely curious. That's killed me. You have to add uh, one, beautiful. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. <laughs> right. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Let's yeah, you have it. Prove it. Look at that. One oh, beautiful. 100%. 87% win ratio. That doesn't really matter. Uh, licenses. All golds, because why not? 144 cars owned. Total mileage was 13,985 kilometers. Total car value is 71 million. 124 bonus cars acquired. 515 trophies. And it sounds like a posh stick, I believe. Yes. And I will just flip through all this. Gold. All golds. Yeah. Remember when we was doing beginner league? Remember when we was doing this and we thought it was long? Oh, God, yeah. The first GT World Championship. Uh. AIDS. That's what and I think it is. And then this came along. And then that GT World Championship, I thought, I can't do this. Yeah. And then the rally was just banter. Rally was good. Endurance was mostly okay, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Well. Uh, let's see what cars we have in our garage, because I'm genuinely curious. Apparently the most mileage is obviously on the Polyphony Speed 12. JGCC. Yeah, these are all of our cars, and... Yep. Some of you might remember, the Clio is one of our most used cars, apparently. Or one that has oh, the most no. mileage on it. <laughs> RX-7. I can't even remember using that, to be honest with you. Oh, hey, it's the 206! <laughs> Piece of fucking useless shit. There's an unusually high Sprinter Trino, there's the pink Yaris. Accordio. How, how little use did the Jaguar XJ or XJ220 get? I don't know, it yeah. hasn't even shown up yet. 12 kilometers. PT we wow. used it less than the pissing PT. <laughs> I heard they got that new PT Cruiser. Yes. I'm like... <laughs> Cars we Polyphonies. Polyphonies. See, okay. Thingy, thingy. Oh, yeah, I never used the RX 7 LM either. Huh. Oh, well. I'm disappointed, especially because he had a blue one. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. well. Look at that. Well, that's all she Well, 100% complete. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Gran Turismo 3 over and done with. I never have to look at this game ever again. Uh, it's been a journey. In, yes. In fact, speaking of journeys, uh, talk amongst yourselves. I'm just going to check something. Hey, Emil, I have a question for you. Wait, won't you have to look Are at you, this? Aren't you going to destroy this game now that you're done? Uh, no, it's been banter. Can't do that. Oh, okay. I've owned it for too many Wait, years, anyways. Uh, don't you have to look at it when you're editing it? Alright, here, here's the thing. The first episode of this was supposed to, It was uploaded on YouTube in December, as I mentioned. first episode of this was officially created on the 7th of November 2016. It is currently the 26th of no, uh, September, 2am. And it's done. Yeah. It is so it's almost been a year. Fucking done. Yeah. You can go home now. Yes, Dang. and by the time this gets uploaded, it'll be like, yeah, it will always be a year. Yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you all very, 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 very much for watching along with this. Uh, I know I appreciate it was kind of stop start, and it's still kind of stop start. 
but yeah. it's done. It's over with. That's it. I want to thank all of my amazing, wonderful guests that have joined me on this journey. It's There's been a pleasure. too many of you to the name, and I can't be asked to think of all of you. To be perfectly honest, There's links maybe in the description if I remember. If yeah. I don't, then fuck you all. Um, no, thank you all. Uh, <laughs> you can only store 200 cars in the garage wall of cocking bollocks. Anyways. Yes. I mean, there's not even oh, 200 cards. It's something else to note. Oh, go on. You completed the in game career 100% before day 365. Yeah. Hey, there you go. It took under a year. Just like this Let's Play, actually. In fact, day 349 is kind of ironic because it'll be about that time that this gets uploaded. But yeah. Uh, as I said, thank everything and everyone, and I'm going to go lie down and die. Uh, as to what's next. I don't know. Who knows? What I will say, you Gran Turismo I'll fans. balls on camera. Yes. What I will say, Gran Turismo fans, is fear not. Gran Turismo 4 is coming, and I assure you, we're going to do it justice or something. I don't I'm going to bed. Thank you all very much for watching, and farewell.